Okay, so let's go uh, look at some of the uh, some of the other things that you can do here uh, in terms of correct correct shape modeling, corrective shape modeling. That's a pr it's a pretty complex uh, task in 3D. Let's take our monkey character again. Here, I'll open I'll open up the same scene. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see just how much I can get done with this guy. So I'm going to take him and I'm going to go and model, do corrective shape modeling on the character. So this applies a lot to uh, modeling in through through orientation, shape shape animation through orientation. But I'm not going to show it that way. Just so everyone can just see exactly what's happened here, I'm going to be very clear about uh, just using regular shape to start, and then we'll get into shape based on orientation. So to start off, let's let's give our character some shapes, and I believe he already comes with some shapes. So I'm going to blow all that away. Let's get rid of all the shape animation. Okay, so we still got our waiting, but we don't have any shape animation. So I'm going to save a default shape here. Shape, save shape key. Yes, no problem. Oh, actually, I'm going to go into my uh, shape mode, shape model, shape uh, modeling mode. Shape, save shape key. Then I'm going to go and I want to set shapes in pose. So this is a this is important for a hundred different things. So let's say the chest is over here. The hip has some weird, a uh, little bit of a, a little bit. Of, I don't know what he's doing. A little bit of a bend to it, and uh, I also come and set this locally, and rotate this part of the arm right here. And as we're working, you know, of course, in XSI you can look at different ports of the stack at the same time. So if I was down here in modeling mode, you can go uh, in your display options, and I can say, okay, here, I want to look at the uh, modeling mode. And here, I'm just going to get like this. I want to look at a different part of the stack. So you can come in and here you can say, okay, let's change our display options. And we're going to change those to view the current construction mode. So those go in and show me show me the modeling mode, which is, which is going to be uh, a good thing. So you can see there's the eyes. This is all this is all different part of the mesh. So this is very good for debugging. Uh, when you're doing complex things. So let's come in now and I'm going to start going into my shape modeling, secondary shape modeling mode. So now if I, if I do this, of course he's showing the current mode, so it's secondary shape modeling mode. If I do this, it gives us this special mode at the very top of shape modeling animation. It's the very top of the stack, so you can go and model whatever you want to do here and then it'll come down and invert the enveloping to form. And place it below enveloping. The other way you could do this is you could sit here in shape modeling mode and like by modeling over here you could try and figure out what shape will give you the right pose. But if you do if you do it over here you're you're in some kind of screwy coordinate system that's totally unintuitive because you're running through an entire you know entire hierarchy of transforms. So what you want to do is you want to model on the very top and that's what the secondary shape modeling mode is. So I can go in here, and I got my shape key. I'm just gonna model. You know, you can do, you can do anything you want. There's no, there's no limitation to, uh, you know, this this applies as as well to a shoulder as it applies to uh, something. Just just come in and do a little bit of tweaks here, and you can see it's easy to edit. The tweaks are in the view mode. So then I've got all these move components here. I select my character and I go shape save shape key and when I do that I don't want to replace it it comes in and it's inverted the entire deform for that so if I look at my character I got my shape weights here and I can go lower this down now in this pose I'm blending here I'll step this down a little bit so you see it see it faster I'm blending to uh, I'll just look at this I'm blending to there but if I go watch in, say, modeling mode, and watch what's happening. Oh, of course not. I have to be in shape mode. <laughs> if I'm here, you can see I'm setting the shapes for the inverse deform. The exact deform that I would have been doing if I had been sitting in modeling mode tweaking this. And it would have been a nightmare to figure out. And, uh, and I couldn't do it in view mode the other way. So... This is, 
it seems like it makes me like a small kind of irrel you know those first getting started in character set this may seem like a little detail but it is a huge time waster if you if you're not able to do this so this really allows you to uh, to to do great job on, on modeling you know your moving character so so we've got into this this also covers the other area number four which is interaction and modeling through different stack regions